I wish to add a weld bead between this face and this face of this pipe. So again, just like in the previous video, we're going to go to the weld mints ribbon. We're going to choose the weld bead option. However, in the last one, we told it what the weld path was. This time, we're going to say, what's the weld geometry? So I'm going to select this face of this tube. And then I'm going to say it has to be connected to this face of this tube with a weld. And you'll see highlighted in the darker reddish pink is where the weld bead will go. For this particular joint, I'm going to set the weld size to 9 millimeters. And then I want to look at some of the options here. If I turn on the tangent propagation, we can see in the graphics area where the weld will be. If I switch to the radio button for both sides, then I have a weld bead here. And that's it. If I switch to all around, it'll go back to what the tangent propagation did earlier. If I turn off the tangent propagation, it's still going to do it because it's the only way to solve this. And again, without tangent propagation on, if I go back to both sides, then I do get a weld bead here and here. Just rotate around so we can see this one. And that's what I actually want for this part. So down both sides where this pipe meets this pipe, I would like a weld bead. Next, I'm going to select the define weld symbol. Here you can also see I'm working with the ISO standard. And because I told it nine millimeters was the size, it's filled in both of these sides and it goes on both sides. So again, top and bottom of the arrow side are filled in. Next, I need to select my weld symbol. Just like before, it's going to have defaulted to the fillet because that was the last weld I did. However, this type of weld is more single J bot weld. So I'm going to select that. And the same thing down here, I'm going to switch it to the single J and select OK. In the next video where we discuss the weld bead, we'll look at the from and to in the intermittent weld. For now, I want to tell it to put this same weld at all of these joints. So I'm going to tell it there's a new weld path. Again, I'm going to select the weld geometry. I'm going to say here. I'll right click to accept that and then here. And I can continue adding new weld beads all around my part using this process.